This is June 12th, Wednesday afternoon. Pretty much same old, same old. Guys came in in the morning and uh, did some lists with about 80%, some doubles. A little lighter for a couple people that aren't recovering well and a little heavier for people that are recovering well. We're starting to get somewhat close to competition here. Um, got a few lifters who are going to compete uh, the weekend after next. Um, I think on the 22nd. Um, we've got a couple of lifters uh, going to Pan Ams that are that are competing in about oh let's see 14 15 days. So we didn't we're not doing quite the volume we were a week ago or two weeks ago either in the morning workouts or in the, the, the uh, evening workouts. But uh, everybody's going fairly fairly heavy. There's some good lifts. Good lifts on uh, Friday and Monday too. Uh, we made a video of Friday's training, and uh, really all last all last week we had, on average, pretty good lifting by everybody. Um, I think as the volume starts to get cut out, a little bit fresher legs on some of the guys. As watch Ryan, I tell you that that kid goes on the bar very naturally. There's no hesitation whatsoever. Well, I've talked about that on a previous video, but that's really makes him very attractive as a lifter, I think. Somebody who really has, has good potential, just that natural movement pattern. Mike... Uh, He's been snatching pretty well lately. His clean and jerk, I think Mike's legs are dead. And he's on a pretty tough squat routine right now. And he's spending a lot of energy on squats and he just hasn't had the leg power when it comes to afternoon workouts. There's just been a lot of fatigue there. Um, but he's snatching real consistently and that's that's good. Obviously snatch doesn't, doesn't uh, require as much, it's not as dependent on leg strength. this Tom shirt say I'm really excited to be here Tom kind of has been out doing himself with t-shirt stupidity lately that's a solid 130 there I know I mentioned this last week on one of the videos but James has been really his consistently his consistency has gone up so much in the last few months. Uh, he uh, did his first snatch over 140, you know, a few months ago. Uh, but I'll tell you, you know, in training, I mean, he was just very, still a lot more inconsistent then than he is now um, with, you know, mid to upper 130s. Uh, I actually think that he uh, probably due for another jump in a snatch, to be honest. That's nice. And Ryan has to move around a lot to get those long legs out of the bar path, but uh, nice and smooth. I think everybody knows Travis has had basically the, the best, you know, two weeks of his, his life when it comes to, to training the last couple of weeks. I hope that carries through to Pan Ams. He's actually, he's got a shot to, definitely got a shot to medal. Um, I don't know, he could have a shot to win it in the clean and jerk. I don't, I don't know. It depends on who shows up and what everyone else does, but he's certainly competitive. There's no doubt about it. Neiman just snatched 63 there. That is a PR. Um, she PR'd her snatch and clean and jerk on Monday. And here on Wednesday, another PR snatch. I'll tell you, there's Travis doing 150. I, you know, last couple of workouts, the 150 hasn't even been much to get excited about. It's just so regular. You saw Tim there. Tim is a strong guy. Um, puts a bar over his head relatively easy. He, but he has he has a real trouble with stability overhead, and I think it has you know 
it's both some motor paths that aren't quite right, and I, you know, he doesn't have the most flexible shoulders in the world. Uh, he tends to want to relax his upper back, or you know, relax his traps, and the bar just slides just slightly out of position. Um, I think he'll fix that. I think he'll fix that, but it definitely is uh, something we have to work on. Um, you know, Tim's obviously capable of putting a lot more overhead than he is capable of actually catching correctly. You see, Trevor has no such problems. Trevor's already snatched 150 as an 85 lifter, and he's just new. Um, he's got a lot of pull. You watch him pull on big weights, just the ease with which he gets them very high is, is frankly amazing. I think, uh, you know, Mike and James have said they might even let um, let Trevor into the Swole Patrol. They are, uh, so they're reviewing his application. I don't know. They might tell him he has to work out without a shirt on at least part of the time or something like that. They're at least considering it. But tell me if that's not smooth, though. That's a nice pull. Um, probably needs to stay back on his heels a little more. He's a little out front, but nice and smooth. Now you see Tim, you see him struggle there a little bit. Caught the bar, and then it started pushing him forward just a little bit, and he caught himself and, and uh, went ahead and held it. But just a little shaky on just about every one. I, I mean, it's not something I don't think he can fix. I mean, I think he'll adjust and, and be fine. But. Definitely just something to work on a little bit there. That's a pretty jerk. I think he saw there one other thing that Tim does wrong from time to time is, you know, when he, he's not real consistent with his start position. And a lot of times when he does a double, he'll start in the second rep with his hips higher than the first rep. And of course, that's just something that can lead to, you know, inconsistency. So we've been working on that a little bit. Then mention it to him, you know, to get the hips down. I'm actually rather surprised that Mike has been, uh, yeah, a little bit surprised he's been doing as good as he has on snatch, just with all the squats he's doing. But uh, he has been able to keep his snatch work up pretty well. A little faults are on the cleaning curve, but uh, snatches have been coming along. These are nice and smooth, and he's got a he's got a nice pull. Bar goes where it's supposed to. Pretty flexible, so overhead's not really a problem. He's too fast to even know what he's doing half the time. Trevor on that jerk, very quick feet, which usually makes a good jerker eventually. Um, I don't think. Trevor can quite jerk what he cleans right now, but I would I would predict that you know six months maybe I don't know he will be able to jerk a fair bit more than he cleans just based on the, the speed. So also got to learn to consistently shrug his shoulders up when he catches the jerk. Um, kind of inconsistent with that right now, but uh, just with just by concentrating on it, I think he'll be able to do that fairly quickly. I mentioned that Tim has kind of tight shoulders. And one of the adjustments that we've already made to hopefully make the jerk a little easier for him is uh, move the grip out just a little. You know, I've got him to move out you know, maybe an inch on each side. I think eventually we'll probably try to move out a little more than that. But we're not going to do it all at once. It's making it a little bit harder for him to catch the bar on the clean. Um, 
but I think that's just a learning process. He just had, he has to be more conscious of catching it very upright instead of bending forward a little when he catches, and he'll be fine. Here's a 180. Pretty routine here. I don't know why, but it seems like Matt always ends up getting behind in the workouts. Even if he starts before everybody else, by the time he's halfway through the clean and jerk, he's, you know, just starting when everyone else is finishing or something like that. That was 74. That was 74 clean and jerk. Neiman's clean and jerk, PR 77. So the next lift you see of her, she'll be going for a PR. I don't know what weight that is. Not too heavy. I think that's 70. 170. And so like I said, everyone's up near their heavier clean and jerks. And Matt's just starting. Why are you so slow, Matt? Maybe that's Caleb with 70 also. James uh, has been saying he's got a little upper back fatigue. And uh, a lot of front squats sometimes do that to him. So he was actually planning to front this. What is this? 78? That's a PR. That's it. Nice lift. It's her fourth PR in three days. Yeah, Neiman's definitely set more PRs and, and had a better week than almost anybody else. Um, of course, you know, she trains by herself. That's a slow squat, isn't it? She trains by herself most of the time, so, you know, when she comes and trains with us, I mean, it's kind of a group atmosphere, uh, a little more exciting, and uh, she normally makes PRs. How many people think he looks like Chuck Norris? Tim, I mean. That's actually, considering he had a monstrous squat workout the morning before this workout, um, 150 is not too bad. I believe Tom's got 182 on the bar over there. Or that last one Caleb did was 180. Tom has to, has to be that guy that always has to do one kilo more. See him drift forward on his foot when he went down for the dip and drive there. That's something that you can't do to be successful. Yeah, I believe that's 160. I wasn't the 
worst strip I've ever seen, but neither was it the best. So this is, uh, what, 88? Her PR is 90, so this is close to PR, but I think it's heavier here than it should be. It's hard to PR your front squat after you already PR both snatch and clean and jerk, huh? Almost too much to expect. Some people do it here and there, but not the, not the norm. head doesn't really make sense to me but 82 for a double here for Neiman putting stuff on your head must be a Chicago thing you know Tom has the weird habit of he, when he's chalking up and he's using straps he'll take the straps off put them on top of his head and then chalk up his hands which doesn't make any sense to me. Mike doesn't put his straps on his head. You see he went forward again there. Couldn't see his, his arm, shoulders and arms, but what you see is when they go forward like that, a lot of times, you know, the shoulders don't shrug up because the bar is too far forward to really get the shoulders shrugged and you're in a really weak position to hold the bar. Rebecca, she made a PR clean and jerk but we didn't happen to get it on film. Um, she also made a PR snatch. We didn't get that either, but we did get her PR front squat. And uh, that's the that's the video. I uh, I think you're gonna sh you start to see the video should get a little bit shorter almost because we're not going to be doing as much volume with most of the guys, but hopefully uh, the weights should be going up.